tonight on Most Daring. Out of control drugs. Deadly road ragers. They all strike. Horror on the highway. First up, a wedding procession is terrorized by an impatient party crasher. Plus, a panicked driver turns a car wash into a demolition derby. And a high-speed blowout sends a car spinning toward disaster. These are the most heart-stopping moments ever caught on tape. True stories of real people in real danger. This is Most Daring, Horror on the Highway. Fort Worth, Texas. Officers catch up to a robber who just knocked off a fast food restaurant. Seeing lights in his mirror, he hits the gas. Setting the stage for a horrifying reign of terror on city streets. This guy's gonna kill somebody. The man weaves a trail of mayhem through downtown. Then he finds an entrance to the freeway. Run better than 120. The call is made for spike strips, and the suspect takes an unwitting turn straight toward them. But suddenly, he spots the trap ahead and swerves into catastrophe. The car veers right, missing the spikes, but slamming a city work truck in an explosion of metal. Officers race in, afraid the crook will bail. Instead, he collapses in a heap. Amazingly, the other driver is okay. It's the perp who pays the price for this hit, a severe head injury. When he recovers, he'll be charged with felony counts of robbery and evading arrest. Two terrible decisions that could have cost him a lot more than jail time. Voronezh, Russia. An impatient driver flies past a wedding procession. crashes the party instead. The angry driver sideswipes the bride and groom as they're trying to turn and almost flips them over. But it's the speed demon who really gets rocked. His car rolls over twice before careening to a stop. Partygoers rush to his aid and make a shocking discovery. The Hellraiser had his wife and child riding with him. Incredibly, neither was seriously injured by the most hot-headed wedding crasher in Russia. Detroit, Michigan. It's chaos at a car wash when an elderly driver peels out in reverse. Jermaine Simmons watches stunned as the man barrels into a wall. And that's only the beginning. He slams the gas and blazes back into the car wash. Jermaine frantically tries to stop him. I'm just screaming at the top of my lungs, stop, stop. And he just floors it all the way through the wash. The out-of-control vehicle smashes into a minivan. The unmanned van rolls into traffic, nearly causing an accident. 
Just when it looks like the bizarre smash-up is finally over, the sedan squeals backward again. Jermaine worries that this time, he's the target. But when he came back, coming toward me about 30 miles an hour, I thought my life was flashing right in front of me. Thankfully, the driver's next hit knocks his engine out of commission. Jermaine is baffled by the sudden chain of events. I feel very thankful to be alive. I could never imagine by working at a car wash that my life would be in danger. The driver blames the calamity on some missing glasses. Yet there's no way to know for sure. But after $50,000 in damage, one thing is certain. It's a miracle that no one was hurt. That was so crazy. Even a good driver can be the victim of a cruel highway mishap. On rain slick roads, a car's rear tire blows out, sending it into an unstoppable skid. The driver just misses the vehicle in front, but catapults off the road. The car spins four times, spewing debris across the pavement. Fellow motorists rush in, expecting the worst. Yet amazingly, the female driver actually walks away from the twisted wreckage. While the contents of her car were violently ejected, the woman's safety belt kept her firmly inside and no doubt saved her life. Coming up, pull the vehicle over. A meth head backs his way into big trouble. Plus, a family in a fender bender is attacked by a trio of road raging thugs. And when icy roads send cars sliding out of control, a pedestrian gets plowed under. Then later, a traffic stop rebel takes pole position in a race with death. On most daring, horror on the highway. November 7th. At Malibu.com or call 888 644-CURE. Farmington, New Mexico. Deputy Philip Francisco stops a known drug addict for driving erratically. I recognize him from an incident I had about three weeks prior. He was very agitated and angry, didn't want to listen to me. I could just tell he was in an unstable condition. The driver, Jason Norman, is both high and emotionally unhinged. The deputy has to get him off the road so he doesn't put others in danger. But before he can, Norman suddenly jams it in reverse and floors it. Bad idea. A telephone pole stops him in his tracks and almost throws his passenger from the cab. I couldn't actually believe that was happening in front of my eyes. Norman panics and peels out of the parking lot. The drug addled suspect first tries to lose police on the highway, then takes the chase off road. But he can't shake the heat. Desperate, Norman makes a beeline for his neighborhood. Cops corner the man in his driveway. They move in, guns drawn. 
Even cuffed Norman and his female accomplice won't go down without a fight. Jason Norman is sentenced to 18 months for aggravated flea. But lawmen are just grateful that no innocent lives were drawn into his deadly drug-induced rampage. Sao Paulo, Brazil. A frightening ordeal unfolds for a family after a small fender bender. The driver who was hit can't contain his anger. He kicks a dent in the door and keys both sides of the family's car. Inside, a father, an 11-year-old girl, and a pregnant mother. But the belligerent driver shows no mercy. He shamelessly kicks the door, slamming it into the terrified mother. The father pleads with them to stop the violence. But the driver and his buddy answer with fists. They tag team to deliver one, and then another vicious hit to the father's face. Just feet from his young daughter. Doing what she can to protect her family, the pregnant woman puts herself in harm's way. Finally holding off the assailants, Thanks to this video, the road-raging thugs now have a date before the judge after this brazen act of lawlessness. Seguin, Texas. As state trooper Christopher Heron knows, pulling a car to the side of the road is always a dangerous proposition. We need to come out of here. Let's get off the side of the road, out of the way of that traffic there. So neither one of us get run over. He leaves the woman clear of the potential death trap while her two friends remain inside the car. We get to come on over here, man. If you're up here and anybody hits the back of my patrol car, a good chance you're going to get caught somewhere in between that car and your car. When suddenly, the trooper's fear is realized. Just like that, see? Just like that. Without warning, a van slams headlong into the parked car. The crushing impact decimates the vehicle and sends the van teetering on the edge of rolling. As Trooper Heron radios in for help, the driver stands in shock, fearing for the lives of her friends. I need a... Uh... EMS to my location. Incredibly, because they were seated on the right side, both survived the tremendous blow. Just like that, see? Just like that. The driver has Trooper Heron to thank for his alert instincts. That clearly saved her life. Anchor of Turkey. A winter storm leaves roads covered in hard packed snow. It's a treacherous situation that will become a chilling nightmare. Good Samaritans are helping motorists escape the drifts when suddenly it's hell on ice. A camera spots a woman being hit by a car and plowed through the snow with tires grinding at her back. The sedan finally stops and civilians swarm. They push the car off the shell-shocked victim. She's weak in the knees and not just from her harrowing ride. 
Seconds before the camera spotted her, a rescuer had pulled her baby clear of the onslaught. The delirious woman is taken to the hospital with her child safely in tow. Thankfully, the mother will make a full recovery after a day of freezing conditions that nearly claimed her life. Still to come, a red light runner sparks crosswalk chaos. Plus, an angry employee delivers 200 horsepower payback. Later, a Chicago freeway freezes over, sparking a chain collision. On most daring horror on the highway. And what happened? I got screwed. Don't miss the hardcore pond behind the deal marathon. Tuesday starting at 8 on True TV. Chicago, Illinois. You don't have to be traveling at high speeds to be in peril on the highway. After a winter storm pummels the city, deadly black ice sets the stage for freeway disaster. News cameraman Ken Herslick finds a three-car pileup at the base of the ramp. And even as he's recording, the fourth victim is on the way. Behold, a taxi cab came at a high rate of speed down the ramp, no brakes, and slid and smashed right into the three cars that were already crunched up at the bottom of the ramp. But that's just the beginning. Police work quickly to close the off ramp before it can ensnare anyone else. But now, travelers on the road above are suddenly caught in the icy trap, triggering a pileup which will put one driver's life in grave jeopardy. One after another, they were spinning around. They were doing 360 degree turns. Uh, they were bouncing off the side of the highway. Cars were coming through and uh, tapping off of each other and hitting each other. A man spins out in a wild slide. His door thrown open by the force. He steps out to inspect his car, unaware that he's in the path of a one-ton missile. A careless motorist is going too fast and talking on a cell phone. The man looks up at the last second and barely dodges a hit that would have mashed him in a metal vice. Though there are plenty of cars in need of repair, thankfully none of the drivers needs a doctor. It's only a thin layer of ice. But it struck fear into travelers and wreaked havoc on a highway. Boaz, Alabama. A renegade criminal shows cops that big horror can come from small vehicles. The crazed thief blazes down the blacktop on a stolen ATV, going over 70 miles an hour. At that blistering velocity, his quad is nearly impossible to control, and no one on the road is safe. Up ahead, an officer lays spikes, but the suspect spots them and makes a desperate dodge. By cutting across a lawn, the off-roading maniac easily avoids the trap. He might feel invincible, but he's about to get a sobering reminder of his mortality. The outlaw blows through a stop sign and comes within inches of a speeding car. 
After the chilling close call, the rebel hits the brakes. He's about to lose police in an open field, but cops have other ideas. The officer slams the ATV, locking the bumper on the rear tires and stopping the crook in his tracks. The suspect bails on foot, but another patrolman speeds in and gets the drop on the kid. He thought his stolen quad would provide the ultimate getaway. But officers finally got the ATV thief where he belonged. Off-road and in jail. Chandler, Arizona. While most dangerous drivers are simply careless, this guy is planning an intentional assault. The disgruntled former employee pulls his car up to the front of a home improvement chain. Inside, the night clerk looks out at the vehicle, wondering what's going on. Another worker approaches through the parking lot to see what the man wants. His answer? Revenge. The clerk barely leaps aside as the shattered door knifes toward his face. He hurries to call for help while the driver barrels through the aisles, causing a million dollars in damage. It just goes to show you can find reckless motorists anywhere, even in aisle seven at your local hardware store. Toronto, Canada. A helpless pedestrian is about to be cornered by a distracted driver. A cargo truck ignores a red light, smashing a passing car in an explosion of glass. The walker leaps for his life. First from the truck, then from the spinning car it nailed. He collapses on the grass, shaken by his brush with death. He's lucky that three steps in the crosswalk didn't leave him six feet under. Up next, a Christmas drunk driver shreds a storefront into tinsel. And... Sparks fly when a runaway felon lights up the night. It's on fire. Later, a minor traffic stop leads to a devastating T-bone. On most daring, horror on the highway. Des Moines, Iowa. Sergeant Joe Simon and other officers pursue the most dangerous kind of driver. An escaped convict who'd rather die than go back to prison. The fugitive tears up rain-slipped roads with complete disregard for others. Recklessly blowing through red lights. There were quite a few near misses, but there was no doubt in my mind that he was going to strike another vehicle. At the next intersection, Simon makes his move to stop this furious flight. He nudges the car into a spin and runs the menace off the road. But the suspect wheels around and leads Simon in a heart-stopping new direction. The wrong way on a busy interstate. Innocent commuters miss death by inches as the chase rages on at a mind-numbing pace. The speeds that we're driving were 100 to 150 miles an hour. So there was an extreme amount of danger. The desperate runner charges a big rig. 
but then crosses a crowded on-ramp. No human in their right mind would take traffic head-on at these speeds, so uh, it was almost, I, I believe, a suicide attempt. Simon backs off, hoping it will keep the man from targeting an innocent motorist. Suddenly, the suspect heads for an exit. Now's their chance to stop him before he kills someone. Another officer plows the sedan off the road and down into a ditch. The driver, Larry Shore, is sentenced to 12 years for felony eluding and assault on a police officer. There's no doubt the escaped con is back where he belongs. Considering the speed and direction of his wild flight from justice. Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Early Christmas morning, outside the express food stop, safe driving takes a holiday. A minivan on the wrong side of the road swerves to miss a car and launches into the storefront's metal shutters. The stunned driver turns on his windshield wipers, backs his vehicle up, and speeds away from the scene. Owner Salah al Qadi arrives moments later to a very unwelcome Christmas present. All glasses broken, then the door, everything. We're lucky we have shut up, because if we have a shut up, the car goes inside the store. A review of the tape shows the van catching three feet of air off a curb before crashing down. Maybe he's drunk or something. He know he do something wrong and he escape and he go. Police have yet to catch the man who delivered this holiday surprise. Hopefully, they'll soon be handing out the gift of time behind bars. It's the annual Honda Day in Englishtown, New Jersey. Enthusiasts show off their models in a massive procession along city streets. But one rubbernecker reigns horror on the parade. As Daniel Chicory films the show, a distracted driver doesn't notice traffic stopped in front of him. You know, all I could see was smoke and this guy just holding on, getting ready, bracing for impact. The driver who's hit hops from his car unhurt, but wildly furious. He's a car enthusiast himself, driving one of the last Mazda RX-7s ever sold in America more than a decade ago. It's a very rare car. He was extremely upset as soon as he realized what had happened to him. The collision not only tore up the Mazda's back end, it also knocked it into the SUV ahead, causing considerable front-end damage as well. He got hit pretty hard. If he wasn't wearing a seatbelt, you know, it's possible he could have smashed his head on the windshield. Fortunately, this roadshow blunder only shattered a car and not a driver. Oh. 
Middletown, Ohio. I ain't still not stopping there. An SUV was just spotted driving without headlights. But the driver, Gregory Mitchell, is an ex-con with three prison stretches on his record, and he's determined to avoid number four. Mitchell blows through a string of intersections and then tears onto a major thoroughfare. He thinks if he's wild enough, officers will decide the chase is too dangerous and call it off. But his risky plan is about to backfire big time. Mitchell attempts his most treacherous move yet, turning through an intersection at full speed. He clips a light pole, smashing the rear end of his car. Losing a tire, his rims grind into sparks on the asphalt. The man fights for control of his battered ride. He blazes ahead, frantic to shake the officer. But with the light show he's putting on, there's no chance cops will lose sight of him. Up ahead, the desperado careens off the road. Mitchell abandons his car in a front yard, then tries to flee on foot. He doesn't get far. Officers take him down in a neighbor's lawn. The ex-con was willing to risk everything to avoid a return trip to prison. But after a fiery chase all over town, his reckless scheme finally flamed out. Still ahead, a madman in a stolen tank declares war on a major city. Plus, pedestrians in a crosswalk suddenly find themselves in the crossfire. Then, a rain-slicked interstate triggers a flood of destruction. When most daring horror on the highway continues. On Tuesday, starting at 8 on True TV. Helsinki, Finland. Careless drivers are not only a threat to other motorists, but to anyone who crosses their path. Even as pedestrians start walking in front of him, the driver barely slows down. A woman at the end of the pack assumes it's safe to go. The impact sends her reeling, yet causes no serious injuries. But across the city, the worst is yet to come. A distracted driver blows a red light. The woman is slammed against the hood, then hurled 20 feet across the pavement. Fortunately, she survives the grisly crash. It's a terrifying close call for both pedestrians who learned the right of way can't protect you from dangerous drivers. Sydney, Australia. The streets are under siege by a crazed man who's terrorizing the city in a tank. The rampaging driver stole the vintage combat vehicle from a collector, and now he's on the warpath. A flock of police are powerless to halt the rolling wrecking ball as it tears through town. It was scary. We didn't know his motive. We didn't know what message he was trying to leave, where he was going.
The madman takes dead aim at a communications tower and hammers it with 10 tons of military muscle. It turns out he's a disgruntled phone company employee who's scheming to obliterate every transmitter in Sydney. It was really unsafe for members of the public. Possibly they could have got in the way and been run over by the armoured personnel carrier. But before it can hurt anyone, the battered behemoth stalls out in a muddy field. Police race in. The tank eventually stopped. At this point, numerous police were surrounding the armoured personnel carrier and they effected the arrest. Better get an ambulance. The deranged felon rambles incoherently as he's taken into custody. The suspect continued to rant and rave. He was obviously not very happy. I've seen time dilation. There was four hours three days ago. I've got a diary. It's in my diary. This tank jacking maniac's war games knocked out seven mobile phone towers and did over five million dollars in damage on a night of destruction that the city of Sydney will never forget. Gross Point, Michigan. When it comes to horrifying scenarios, nothing beats three teens in a stolen car high on drugs and determined to evade police. At 80 miles an hour, the callous trio is on the road to ruin, putting their own lives in jeopardy. The driver loses control and rams into a bakery. Amazingly, no one's injured in the brutal crash. But the teenagers are busted for their misguided joyride, earning themselves a one-way trip to Juvenile Hall. Sacramento, California. A rain-slick freeway has just claimed its first victim of the night. A road crew spots a truck losing control on the wet asphalt, almost toppling over as it skids to a stop. Clearly, freeway speeds are too dangerous in this weather, but drivers keep pushing their luck. A car misses the stalled truck by inches. Another isn't as fortunate. An SUV slams into the back of the truck. The brutal hit delivers enough force to send the rig lurching forward. The owner is badly injured, but he'll survive. The night is a testament to how a little rainfall can cause a cascade of destruction. Still to come, a driver trying to dodge a ticket flies into the crossroads of catastrophe. That's next on Most Daring Horror on the Highway. Four, five, four. Warren, Michigan. Officer Timothy Shulo pulls over a car for a minor violation. Expired tags. But he has no idea that he's about to witness a major felony. Desperate to avoid contact with police, the driver takes off. But instead, he brushes elbows with death.
A crossing SUV is sandwiched against a pole, pinning the driver inside. The offender doesn't care. He bails and tries to escape on foot. Shulo runs him down and soon learns why the man was so hellbent. It turns out he had an outstanding warrant for drug charges. The other driver survives, but the fleeing rebel now faces up to 20 years in prison after this dangerous rush from judgment. From killer weather to deadly DUIs, the terror facing motorists has many faces. And no matter where you drive, or walk, or work, you're never more than a turn away from horror on the highway. Tonight on most.